Hello, and thank you for joining me on another episode of the Tech Exec Podcast, where I help you create a team worth leading, because life's too short to do anything else. Our subject today is what to expect when you're expecting. And this is because I am a bit sick with seeing people who are brilliant, who are talented, who have done a few things in their career or just getting started in being real leaders and yet having such low expectations. Maybe it's because the CEO doesn't seem to really be pushing it. Maybe you're in a company that's been going on for a few years and you feel like you're in limbo. I don't care what the reason is. I'm here to tell you that bottom line, you're almost guaranteed to never see anything more amazing happen than what you're expecting to get, to what you're aiming at. We know the cliches. If you aim at the sky, you're gonna reach the stars or whatever, or is it the other way around? I'm not sure, but we know that there are cliches about aiming higher, and really, I agree. If you never take a moonshot, if you don't believe it's required from time to time, what are you even doing? Why are you in this role? If you're only there to babysit and have a nice time, you know, go and do that at Google or something. And yes, not every week should be you at 110%. Actually, most weeks shouldn't be you at 110%. That's not what I'm saying. I am saying that as a whole, you need to be pushing yourself further, always wanting to see more, always wanting to learn, to develop. And the same applies to your team. You should always have higher expectations of how they're going to improve, how you're going to deliver amazing impact, how you're going to create something worth having in this organization. Do you know how many incredibly successful leaders I know who had low expectations of their teams? None. Because that's not going to happen. If you have low expectations, at best, people will meet your expectations or you're going to get sacked. You can't have both. People very rarely outperform the expectations of their leaders. If the organization genuinely needs that to a point where it can be seen how you're capping the success of the team, you're going to get replaced. I've been there. I've seen so many founders reach out to me because they've sensed this and needed help realizing what was going on. I've helped so many people unlock this thinking, get out of this rut, get out of this jam where they just stopped expecting more to happen. And you can do it too. This is a quick episode because all I want you to take away from this is to think for a second. We're about three months from the end of the year. What are you expecting to get? What are your goals? And if those goals are simple, linear goals, we're just going to keep on delivering the same stuff till the end of the year. That's going to be a good year for me. You're aiming too low. You need to think bigger. You need to push for things to happen. Otherwise, again, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your people's time. You're reducing the odds of being in charge of something meaningful. And as I said, when we started, life is too short for that. That's the takeaway. People have constantly realized too late that they wasted years, that they wasted an entire role in a company on not pushing. And yes, you can fix it in your next one if you're still going to have a good enough of a reputation to get the next one. But why wait? You're not going to get too many shots at this. Our careers are short. Our lives are short. Get going. And if you need help, thinking bigger, if you feel like you haven't developed personally enough in the past year or so, often that means that you're not getting enough mentoring, coaching, motivation. You need some help, reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. You have my email in the show notes. That's it for this week. Thank you for joining me. I'm reminding you, I'm starting a bunch of experiments on YouTube. There are three new videos there, which are all, I think, very interesting. If you like this podcast, and I'm going to be releasing a bunch more very soon, check out the link in the show notes. It means so much to me to hear from you listeners who have been listening for years, some of you I know, what you think about those videos. So please, the link is in the show notes. Let me know your thoughts. And of course, you can also get everything, the podcast, the articles, the videos, all every week bundled in one email. You can subscribe to my newsletter also in the show notes. Thank you. I'll be here next week.